Hello friends, this is Coldrun back with Dragon Age Inquisition. Um, I just saw something pretty cool on the loading screen. There was a tip that said that you can switch uh, that you can switch upgrades to armor pretty freely. Whoop, no, not, it's not what I meant. Uh, let's get the, the good armor back. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure how to check that right now, but um, there was an yeah, there was a. It said that you could switch upgrades pretty easily. That like, how do I look? Examine this. So like, I don't have anything in this right now. But like, if I put something in this, like heavy arms or heavy legs, I could take it from another piece and put it into this. Which I yeah, I had no idea about. I was just trashing them all. So that's good to know, and it's something I will explore next time. I am back in uh, Skyhold. Um, for now, let's head a little east and, okay, Troy is here to be researching fade rifts for what he calls his great mission. He appears to have camped at a safe distance from each rift for a time observing its behavior. This is the dude who was like, um, expect, and uh, there's a rift first, but this is the dude who was expecting, um, that like, he, he, he has mastery of the rifts now, He's, he knows how to attack them from a safe distance, and I'm totally expecting to find his dismembered corpse being played with like a yo-yo by demons. Closed. I'm, I'm cutting out some of these fights because there's just nothing, too, nothing super special going on, no super cool bosses or anything, they're just kind of regular fights at this point. Um, let me know if you'd prefer that they actually stay in, but I figured mostly it's just kind of me swinging my, my super slow hammer their way. Um, so where is this next thing? So, okay, that was the rift. So he actually was camped out at a pretty safe distance. Never mind. The Diary of Troilus here to Beast, a final blood-smeared entry written in a shaky scroll. The great mission, final test. Learned so much since that first day on that ridge. Thought I knew enough to try to interact with the menace to touch it. This didn't go well. <laughs> Instruments did nothing. Didn't affect menace at all. We are all doomed. Just going to lie here for a while. Well, so, shit. yeah, well, shit. <laughs> um, so, it's he was well enough to crawl back here, I guess. Um, I guess he was just trying his, like, Ghostbusters technology to, to close it and it didn't work out and it kind of burned him and so he just kind of crawled back here to die. That's a, a sad end for someone who's trying to do something. Um, motherly encouragement. A young woman fell from a cliff to her death under mysterious circumstances. Investigate the fatal fall. Let's do that. Let's do just that. I'm still on the lookout for that rash find nettle by... Ooh, there's another of the old bears. Wait. We should search the area. Way ahead of you. Um. Oh, map of Watchers Pass complete. Oh, this is one of those map things. Cool. Um. Bianca arms, superb belt of health. Those sound both super good. I probably have to actually to, to remove arms. I probably have to be in. Um. I probably have to be in the in Skyhold's uh, Undercroft. So there's another rift there, but let's see if I can mosey on this way first. Yeah, so this is Crystal Grace, okay. Um, yeah, so this might have more about her fall. Betta's Travel Journal, 17 Herring. I don't want to go to Ferelden. I have to leave everything, my paintings, the cat, and worst of all, Mother's Little Garden. It's been such a comfort for me since her passing. hope she has Rashvine Nettle. Been such a comfort to me since her passing, I don't know what I'll do. But Liesel has little eaves to think about, and the war threatens to consume more of her lay every day. Twenty herring. The cat had her kittens the day we left. Make her look after her. I cannot. Oh, kitten. We couldn't... We couldn't. We couldn't even take a little one for eaves, even though he begged. They were too small. They would have died without their mother. So what killed this person, then? Is she... Was too, I don't know. I'm so for winter march. I'm so tired. We spotted a house in the in the forest, abandoned. There was a roof and some hay, and Liesel agrees we can stay here for a day or two to recover. Later in winter march, Liesel and Eves have been gone a long time. 
I haven't seen them in days. Mother made a bed for them upstairs, and I suppose Eve's is still young. Young ones need their sleep. It's so good to have Mother with us on this long journey. She always know what, knows what to do. The day it rained, strange, the, the, concerning. The day it rained, it rained, and I don't know why. Like, I'm not expecting any specific outcome or, like, for all of a sudden Eve's to get possessed by a demon, but, like, the fact that this is so mundane makes me concerned for what's coming next. The day it rained, it rained today. Mother and I played a hiding game in the house. I found Liesel. She didn't like it when I found her. She was screaming about Eve's. I looked at what I wrote before, and I guess there isn't... Eve's? I think he's our... What the fuck? I think he's our dog. Mother told Liesel to be quiet. She was ruining the game. Waterfall night. Mother says I bore her. She's just sick again like she was back home. I didn't tend to her well then. She got sicker because of me. Not this time. I asked her what she needed. She said there is a waterfall close by in the wild crystal gray sh shrub growing by its edge. She wants me to get rose hips for her tea. Is that... Did... I feel like I'm missing... Why did she just start losing her mind? Why did she, like, start... Like, f getting forgetful and... F forgetting who she was and, f not, and losing sense of context? Why is... She came up here and she... I have to read that again. I'm sorry, I am... I have to, yeah, I, I feel like I definitely should have understood that, and I did not. Um, actually, you know what? Pause. Okay. I just read through it, and the mother died before they reached the house. I, I like, I was reading through it. I was like, I was reading back through it. Like, that's not weird. That's not weird. The first entry said that the mother had died, like the, uh, that she loved the garden before their passing. And now she went to this old house and the mother was there and everything started to go. I have to imagine that this was just a witch who warped their minds or something like that. Let me know if I'm misunderstanding that. That's my best understanding as far as I can see, that, it's, uh, oh, that they went to this abandoned house to stop there and find like just get some rest for a couple of days but it wasn't actually abandoned they, they ran some Blair Witch shit there that's my guess let me know if I'm wrong Chateau Donterre so we got a new chateau lurking here I don't have any quests for it I don't think whoa this is a whole place Diary of Peter Marsh. Oh my god, that art. What the hell is that art? Impressive place. No guards, no staff. I suspect this place has been abandoned for some time. Are there... Is this a haunted place? Painting of Val Royale. Maybe this is a mistake, like, not just in the way that going into a haunted old palace is, any, is a mistake anyway. Maybe this is a oh, mistake. Look. Someone's put a light on. Isn't that nice? Something stirs here. Stay alert. I mean, maybe it's a mis may maybe it's a mistake because maybe I'll get a quest to come back here later. But no, screw it. I'm gonna press ahead. So we got General Matthew, Matthew, Matthew. On terror, feared by the dog lords. I want to be a dog lord. The Imperial Highway, so just a bunch of Orlesian stuff. A torn diary, a torn diary page. It's not fair. I want to go outside. I can hear the guests downstairs. Another party. There's always another party. Mother and father brought me a present to make me feel better. To make me better. So this is a kid who's sick. They're just trying to shut me up. A kid who's angry and probably lonely and sick. Cook's scared of me. She still calls me my sweets, but she's scared. Still, she hasn't told father or mother. She's afraid of me more than she likes them. I don't think Cook likes herself much either these days. I have a new friend now. She understands me. She'll help me make things fair again. So this is immediately, I'm guessing, demon possession. Like that this girl was sick and 
she became friends with or got possessed and gained some creepy powers by one of the by some kind of demon. I don't know what gave me that idea. From the look of their clothes, I'd say these men were looters. So trespassing ends well here. I'm right with you, Varric. But my character isn't. Oh, and the fire is activated. This is great. Um, yeah, things are going swimmingly right now. So the books are... One of the bookshelves is just totally emptied out. The rest of them are okay. Dalish Woods in Summer. Nanette Donterre, my bell rose. One of these paintings is going to come alive. I'm going to have to fight it like Chadarnuk. Uh, yeah, have, have at it, my friend. No, we're getting we're getting lost in this. Um Search. When the compass pulses, press L3 to search. This is when you're giving me the tutorial about the sonar game. Searching indicates the direction of hidden objects, and if you're close enough reveals them. There must be something here. I agree. There's a corpse. Sketch of Chateau Dantair interior. So there's like an entry, like a f a hall, a giant hallway, and an orange statue, maybe. What was that? Okay, so there's a cube that summons Hellraiser up there. I mean, like I've I just finished reading the Scarlet Gospels, the Hellraiser book. And I know that you're not supposed to play with magic cubes that summon portals to hell. I know that it's a bad idea. This is legitimately kind of creepy. Want uh, me to handle that? I do. I don't think I think it's just the same door, but rash fire. Okay, yeah, this is. I think somehow it makes creepier the fact that it's in the, this is this is the daytime. Um, I there's so many. So this is going to be a central place, central location. I don't want to get lost in this yet. There's an enemy. There's an enemy somewhere nearby, maybe up up top. Yeah, there's some Z-axis shenanigans going on here. Let's keep exploring the gallery. More Dog Lord. Should have Abel Donter. This is a lion with what's in its mouth? It's just like a chain with a old red raggedy piece of cloth hanging from it. Tia Shayo, beloved grandmare. Let's keep exploring the first floor, and then we'll go upstairs later. Oh, all of them have that raggedy little chain thing. Yeah, the sounds here are not pleasant. Sounds here are spooky ghost sounds. We discovered the servants' quarters. And there's an enemy out here. Is it going to be a ghost? It's got to be a ghost, right? A corpse. Okay. Corpses are not as bad as ghosts. I don't know why. I'm glad we have you, Varric. Formal gardens. Oh, this just is how you get back to the the main 
the gardens thing again. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, so we're going to keep checking around here. Oh, and the fire's lit up again. Thank you so much, local ghosts. So now we're the looters. Now we're we're looting a possessed families, whatever. Oh, this is not not super great. This is not the smartest idea I've ever had. You're gonna one of you's gonna friggin' come alive. The corpse is gone. Uh, yeah, on we go. Again, I, I appreciate the effort this ghost has by lighting up things for us above the, the dead bodies, but I'd rather they didn't. It's, it's not great. Um, we're near another artifact. I'm not getting anything on sonar. Okay, so upstairs again. Upstairs is a whole new beast. So I'm going to try to finish exploring the downstairs first. The ballroom. Awesome. I really dislike this. I have a strong dislike of this. Solus, you can activate the thing. The wards are working. They don't seem like they're working. Not even looking at the stuff. Okay, finally, something I can just like hit and kill. This is combat relieves tension. Yeah, no shit. It's funny how that works, that, um... Grave locket, okay. How, um... It, it makes it far creepier that there hasn't been much combat than if there were, like, just tons of zombies coming out of my, out of my butt. Oh good, something to read. A torn diary page. I had to make myself breakfast this morning. It wasn't very good. When I saw mother and father, I couldn't stop crying. I don't know what to do. My friend says there's a way to be less lonely. She says not to be afraid. There are other games we can try and I will feel better. Yeah, your friend convinced you to kill, kill your parents, didn't she? Or something like that. Oh, these are the bodies that were lying they down before, aren't they? Crawl. Are these going to get up and become corpses? Yeah, this room I don't think we've seen. Read. A cook's diary. Pages tucked under a servant's mattress. Danelle noticed my unease and has been pestering me with questions about the girl. Danelle must be the, the mistress or the... the lady of the house um i told the dratted child to see to her no this is uh, another another like a uh, cook under her, underneath her maybe a fellow servant i told the dratted child to see to her duties and mind her own business but at this rate she's going to start prying and something will have to be done about her donnell's not a bad sort even if she's a bit lazy it'd be a pity to have to tell lord Dantaire that she's being troublesome maybe i could just have the child fired she knows her letters and numbers there are any number of places that would take her it's not too late for her. I wish it weren't too late for me and the others. I must go tend to my poor sweets. I hope today will be a good day. This is not great. Things are not looking great in the Dante household. Okay, let's go upstairs. 
God, the lights. Friggin' lights. Discovered the antechamber. There were, there's definitely been... I don't remember the details, but I know that the things that are coming to mind most are that I think it was Dragon Age Origins with the kid who was turned into like a puppet, who into like an evil puppeteer, who was like possessed, and you had to decide whether to kill him or... Why the fuck do you have a dragon like this is a natural history museum? Is this dragon going to come alive? Is the puppet master going to make the dragon come alive? Christ. Oh good, there are quests here. I really don't want to read that. I'm watching you, dragon. Lord Dantaire's beast. Impressive. Most certainly a fake, but of superior quality. I'd rather hang a handsome piece than something unappealing. Lord Dantaire to Lady Mondaire on the aesthetic appeal of a fine, authentic beast purchased in Valroyo. Oh, okay. Balcony key required. Hey, let's keep exploring the upstairs. The sounds here are just getting to me. The sounds are like, uh, it's hard to describe because it's maybe the sort of thing, oh, hello, corpse. Maybe the sort of thing you need a, um, headphones or something to hear, but there's just like whispering and wooing and hawing. Different antechamber. Discovered the balconies. Anywhere we can get from here? Not from this one, it looks like. Uh, I'm, I'm, pointy dagger. Okay, I'm, I'm taking the time to kind of kill these corpses just in case one of them drops. I don't know. A special key or something, like a key to something. I don't know, a key to the the balcony door. I don't think that's likely. Like likely though. The bed chambers. Go with more corpses. Where did the um? No, that's something different. I was thinking for a second that this sort of reminded me of the human noble starting point in uh, Dragon Age Origins, but that was Ferelda, and this is Orlesian. So you got dragon skulls. This person was a fan of dragons. This is the royal bed, a little bit over the top, but that's Orlais. There are steps leading up to the bed. No, I guess that makes sense. Um, torn diary page. I showed them. We had such fun. We did. Dancing and partying until everyone fell down. It was glorious. The best party ever. Father and mother went to their room when we were done. Mother was crying. She was so happy. I'm sure, she was, I'm sure that's the reason she was crying. I held out the present. It made me better, just like they said. The present. I have not left the house. I'm still scared of what's on the other side of the door, but maybe I'll go out tomorrow. Ah, oh, good lord. The kid's gonna still be here. The kid's 100% gonna still be here. Like, in demon form. Alright, so there's a lot of stuff here. Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff here. Also, this is where the, um, that statue, or that, that map was pointing to, right? Uh, let's see if I can first find the treasure and they'll come back and read the stuff.
I wonder if this is the same setup as uh, Halamajaral. Like if they use the reuse the same assets for this. Um, so it's over here. And then it went away. Maybe it has to be on this floor. Where is this? Jeanette Dantaire, matriarch of the house Dantaire. Move. Sketch of Chateau Dantaire interior. So that face again is between above the fire between two statues I'll have to be looking for. Hmm. I'm definitely going to double back, by the way. We'll not forget that. In fact, I'm just going to do that right now. There's quests that await me on the other side, and I don't care. I'm doubling back. We're doubling back. We're doing it. From the Canticle of Threnodes, an illuminated copy of the Chant of Light, a few of the passages have been bookmarked. In secret they worked magic upon magic, all their power and all their vanity they turned against the veil until at last it gave way. Above them, a river of light, before them the throne of heaven. This is the... This is Corypheus' story. Waiting beneath their feet, the footprints of the Maker, and all around them echoed a vast silence. Canticle of Threnodes 8, 2-3. Secret reading. Pages of a letter have been hidden inside a copy of the Antivan Kiss, Volume 2. The box... That must be the Hellraiser thing we saw up above. The Lamentation configuration. The box seems unassuming, but I'm told it works as intended. There's an enchantment to it. It attracted power before. If you want more details, we talk more coin. There are risks in asking too many questions. I doubt you'll, you care, so long as it helps with your little problem. I'll expect my fee in due course. So... The, I was assuming that the box was the so was the start of the problems that they were just like ooh a box let's open this up but no it looks like um, the box was the salute trying to be the solution to something superstitions a book of superstitions several of the pages have been bookmarked how to prevent magic formation in the earliest stages should mage blood run through your line no matter how distant the relation avoid conceiving in winter while with child sleep with dried embryo beneath your pillow to ensure good health. Infants and most small children will show no signs of magic. However, you can purge the body of unwanted elements before they take hold. Place leeches on each of the child's limbs. Standard standard child rearing technique. When done, burn the leeches. Be sure not to inhale the smoke. Afterwards, wrap the child's limbs in cloth blessed by a chantry sister. So this is so the child. Yeah. So this is again hinting at the idea that the kid has access to demons because they're it's like the kid is a mage. Or the or mage magic ran in the blood, and so they're worried about that. And um, that's how I know that's how people often get in contact with demons in this world is by being mages. Uh, a child showing signs of magic may be submerged in water until the breath is nearly lost. If magic is still weak within them, it will die before the child. Should the trouble persist beyond reason, certain talismans may suppress the child's skill. Choice of reading material. There are more books on magic and how to contain it. Such attempts never end well. Yeah, Solus, you would... Uh, yeah, I'm not surprised you would say that. Uh, okay. Read. Of gods in doubt. Forgive me, I claimed belief once, swore with tears in my eyes that Our Lady was the light, and through her blessing I knew the Maker. But I cannot brook the division between what I have tried to know and what I cannot ignore. Is the Maker less silent than the profane elven pantheon, or the old gods of Tevinter? And what are the archdemons that are not silent at all? We have real, ongoing strife, all of us, every people and creed, that we each blame on the heretical actions of others. And yet, if any of our truths was truth, capital T, that blame would be impossible. It is not just that these claims of divinity cannot coexist is that no other claims could be made if any one of these worshipped were ever truly God. I'm ashamed my faith cannot withstand so pedestrian an argument. 
All I have learned here in my time in my time here is fair. Fear. Initiate Michaela Chevet. Go as you must, as must we all, but know that the only thing worse than a faith unbroken is a faith untested. That's a great phrase. Faith broken is a faith tested. I really like that saying. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not religious, but I like it anyway. Correspondence and teachings of Mother Havara, Valerio Archive. So this is someone, Initiate Michaela Chevet, excuse me. Initially, Initiate Michaela Chevet saw some shit and the test her faith and she was thinking about leaving I hope she got out I fear she did not the girl in red crossing too long have I I have traveled soon I'll see her smiling the girl in red crossing I'm longing to see oh I know she is there daisies in her hair waiting by the chantry to marry me I've dreamed of the kiss I stole neath the arbor I've dreamed of the promise neath the old ash tree oh I know she is there daisies in her hair waiting by the chantry to marry me one last stream to cross one last hill to wander until I reach the love I'm longing to see. Oh, I know she is there, daisies in her hair, waiting by the chantry to marry me. Uh, how is this going to end horribly? Running through the streets, only silence follows. Oh, this is how. Elven arrows sunk into the old ash tree. Oh, I know she is there, daisies in her hair, waiting by the chantry to marry me. Ruby on the green, petals lost and drifting. Take her to... wait. Elven arrows sunk into the old ash tree. So she was killed, but she's still waiting to marry him? Is, this a, is she a zombie? Ruby on the green, petals lost and drifting. Take her to his side, Andras, to hear my plea. I found her lying there, daisies in, his, in her hair. Oh, God, okay, yeah. Daisies in her hair, waiting by the chantry to marry me. Yep, so she died there, while waiting. Not surprisingly, this folk song originates from the Red Crossing region, although it is known in various parts of Orlais. While clearly inspired by the events of the Exalted March of the Dales, it is unknown whether the narrator and the eponymous girl are based on actual figures or are representative of the overall losses suffered at Red Crossing. From Orlesian Musical Tradition by Sister Rosette, published at the University of Orlais. The Antivan Kiss, Volume 1. Oh, here we go. Excerpt from the first volume of a popular romance serial known for frivolity and excess. Would they truly notice so brief an absence, he murmured softly. He kept his back to her his eyes on the painting as though he did she did not excite the slightest interest would it be so very brief she returned the corner of her his mouth twitched and smile a small triumph that served to quicken her own pulse making her mindful of her own countenance the garden he murmured softly and walked away without a glance in her direction her journey to the hedge maze was uneventful although her heart yet quickened at last he pulled her into a dark alcove so serene that smirk of yours he murmured in her ear let me see you smile Slowly, he pulled the ribbon that bound her mask. Taking off the ribbon, the mask is when things get hot and heavy. Maybe that's like showing the ankles. Um, okay, yeah, so... What horrors are we going to see here? The balcony. No, this is where we already were. Um, okay, fine, we'll go... We'll go and cover those horrors here. <sighs> Balcony key required. Oh no, disaster strikes. So what haven't we explored? Maybe we can go back and see more on the other side there? Yeah, let's try that. So how do we get this balcony key? Hmm. Mm -hmm. It must be the... I don't think there's any new quests that popped up here, are there? Oh! There is. Gain access to the Grand Balcony. But that's just saying, yeah, gain access to there somehow. So it must be related to those maps that we saw, right? There was, there was a statue... Oh, I, got, I wish I had watched more closely. So this is what I'm looking for. So sketch of Chateau d'Anterre interior and sketch of the courtyard. So let's first, so the courtyard I think we found, right? I mean, the court. I know we found the courtyard, but like the courtyard, that thing in the courtyard I think we found, right? Hmm. 
Hmm. No, it was this thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, one, two, three. So it was that thing. Maps. Sketch one, sketch two. Sketch of Chateau Courtyard. Head above fire. Oh, I don't care about these as corpses. I just kind of want to run past them. But there are going to be everywhere. This is, uh, I, I prefer this place pre corpses. Because that's what it's pointing at, right? The um, maps. Sketch one Chateau d'Interior. So that we found. And then the thing above a fireplace between a, a male and female statue and the thing amidst a long vestibule type deal. Oh, but no, that, that we found, right? That was this thing. Are you... Yeah, so we found you. It's the third one that we have to find, right? It's something of a fireplace. So we're looking for statues beneath a fireplace. I think that's... Bedchambers, I don't think I've seen here before. Yeah, new spot. An apology, a hastily written note left on a guest room table. Ma chère Colette. I'm very sorry, but we must depart sooner than anticipated. Night terror seized my husband. He will not remain a moment longer. Honestly, I don't know what he's thinking, rushing out of here so rudely. I hope you will forgive me for not conveying my regrets in person. But due to the late hour, we decided not to be a bother. I'm sure you understand. Je t'aime pas. E. I probably have a bunch of corpses coming here just because I've been ignoring... Ugh. I've been ignoring them because they're not super interesting. Um, I've just been trying to find the last piece of the puzzle that gets me to the balcony. Here we are. Um, fireplace with two statues. Bingo. Bingo bongo. Sketch three of Chateau d'Anterre uh, Interior. So something by a gargoyle. Hmm. Okay, so now I see. So you only can get the things on your sonar, get the special the special things on your sonar after you've discovered the um after you've discovered the the sketches, which makes sense because you wouldn't like your character wouldn't know to look in a certain place. Okay, so we're looking for a gargoyle. Oh, we're not a gargoyle, a dragon. Here we are. The tail pushes up. And now is there something in the tail? Yeah. Reminder. Shakely written note. There is no one left to remind me. I can't trust the thoughts in my head. Some of them are hers. But these are mine. Key to balcony. Do not use. It won't make you better. She, they lied. She lied. Wait, so... So that's definitely the kid's... So the kid has the key to the balcony? So maybe we have to look in her, in her room? Oh, stop with the zombies. Um, no, we have access to the grand balcony. You know, screw it. Let's do this now. We're going long.
Okay. Let's click this because something good will happen. We're not alone. Yeah, we're not alone. Um, can Barrett get in here? Kill the arcane horror. Before we do that, oh, I didn't even th I didn't even expe I expected this would be like this would unlock once we open the thing. Arcane horror will be with you in a minute. Take mosaic piece, nice. Some amulets. Superb ring of staggering sounds very good. Lord Dantaire's journal. The journal is dated, entry is dated 927 Dragon. Oh, just a sec, sorry. Okay, I'm back, sorry about that. Uh, that Circle Templar is demanding another payment. Greedy bastard, taking advantage of us all these years because we wanted to preserve our good family name. He promised to silence the mage once returned to his circle, but that doesn't protect us from the Templar. He promised to silence the mage once returned to his circle. So a mage was going to tell that the kid was a mage? Like some other mage was going to tell the other circle like that the kid was a mage? Yeah, I think so. I wonder, though, was it enough? No, the mage was strong. Even I could sense it. It was terrifying. There's no way the child could break through. She doesn't even have training. So long as she stays inside, everything will be all right. No one will ever know. Uh-oh. Yeah, it doesn't sound like it worked out super great for you. Okay, let's go take on this arcane horror thing. So, do they block the ways? Yeah. Can we get down to it even from here? Oh, that's what the little balconies were for. They were to help us reach the arcane horror. You're not even a boss, are you? Oh, right. Or maybe you have, like, minions that make you tough. We did it. We beat the Arcane Horror. spirit here or cruelty at least it is over okay that was I'll be honest that was a little bit of an anticlimactic ending um, compared to where I thought this place was going to go but that's okay this was a cool little atmospheric place it didn't have to be a major set piece the way ooh nice stuff fire rune Cooldown modifier, walking behind me, all sound, don't tear crest ring, all sounds good. Oh, fucking. Okay, yeah. I was going to say, it didn't have to be a major set piece the way that, like, the puppet master part of Dragon Age Origins was. Um, but even so, it felt a little bit anticlimactic. Anyway, that's going to be it for me for now. Um, next time, I will probably head back briefly to... Uh, to sell some stuff and restock in Skyhold, but then I will continue in the Emerald Graves. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.